What is the crack, lads? We are back with another Dream Team player power pack review, walkthrough, breakdown, discussion, whatever you want to call it. This has been requested by a lot of people, especially newcomers, as I keep reiterating. So if you missed the first episode, we did cover Messi and Neymar, and we gave a couple of tips on if you wanted to stay free to play of how you could stack up those players and how they stacked up against free GP players that you can buy on the GP marketplace. Um, there's a couple of interesting tidbits in there. It's a funny word, tidbits. But uh, it's, yeah, there's a couple of interesting bits in there um, in that previous video that I did, uh, which might kind of, um, which might kind of, yeah, interest you guys and have a bit of information. Because as I said, look, a lot of us have beastly squads, but there is new people downloading the game all the time and wondering whether they should or shouldn't get the packs. And sometimes it can be hard to kind of judge every player and every single um you know new addition and every card against the other you know comparing it it takes a lot of research to do it so some people just can get overwhelmed so hopefully these videos help you guys to make a better decision um and if as i said you want to buy the packs fair play if you don't fair play if you want to just stay free to play with the gp you could definitely do that and a lot of these cards are basically just shiny versions of the cards with like a couple of stats that are sometimes better and sometimes worse so today we're going to be taking a look at the three partnered teams that have legends so we've got barcelona Bayern munich and manchester united so these are the premium club packs and they are available for 2000 uh, coins each uh, so yeah we've got barca munich and united so we're going to start with barca and then we're going to move on to munich and united i think barca are probably one of the best squads in it um byron are probably the best pound for pound but we'll get into them in a minute so again if you've missed the first episode i cover all about the possession uh game play style and all that the proficiency of the play style and linking up with a manager and all that so check out episode one of that and also check out the link of that episode as well i will leave a link to it here in the description or else popping up on screen whenever so for barcelona here this premium club pack you are going to get Ansu Fati as your legend player. And then you're going to fill out the rest of that squad with the Young, Pedri, Ter Stegen in goals, Araujo, Busquets, Alba, Dembele, Auba, Pique, Dani Alves, and you get your 60,000 training XP again, right? So, yeah, I mean, a very solid team. I don't think as good as Bayern Munich, obviously. But again, they do have that possession game team play style. And they're all set at 80. And you've got your trainers as well that you have a couple of nice cards to look at here. But again, we're going to hop on over... Uh, to eFootballDB.com and we're going to go into a little bit more detail on these players and how they actually line up compared to the standard versions of the card. So straight away here we're going to simulate the, the rating that Ansu Fati and the stats that Ansu Fati can actually get up to. So his probably main stats here at the moment you would probably say are his speed and his acceleration and his dribbling which don't really need to be touched right. So once we put his possession game up to 99 you can see there in the bottom of the screen right there right here that's at 99 now we are going to probably focus on his dribbling bring that up to maybe about 90 dribbling and then we're going to be focusing on his passing maybe bring that up to 75 don't really need shooting or finishing or any of that so it's just going to be blister and pace and blister and speed and this guy yeah Ansu Fadi is definitely I think worth it if you are looking for a top class winger um because even at that like he's a 91 rated you know 90 speed 90 acceleration 90 dribbling that's very rare in eFootball unless you're going to get the superstar cards now his finishing and obviously his passing leave a lot to be desired but you can actually train him up even more than that to have a bit more pace about him and again you can put the passing up there and maybe one for shooting as well or you can put in a bit of aerial strength if you want to touch up his um if you want to touch up his physical contact a bit but there's no real point i would probably put it to shooting 93 overall with a 99 possession play style now when you look at him and you're thinking right 99 overall 91 speed 92 acceleration 91 dribbling 84 balance very 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 solid and he can play left wing left mid right wing he can play ss or he can play amf um, but if we look at his actual other card, right, and we go down here and we max him out, he's got 72 progression points compared to the 42. So he's got 30 more pro progression points 
than his uh, legend card so obviously the legend card is going to have b form which is a big one um whereas these standard card he is going to have c form with the live update at the moment but straight away if we're going to obviously put this possession we're going to bring that up to 99 you need four into that but we can leave that at 92 that should suffice for that card and then obviously we're going to be boosting up his uh, his uh speed as best as we can so if we bring that up to the 90s it's going to take a lot of our progression points and then we're going to have to pump the rest into dribbling to bring that up as best as we possibly can and obviously we're not going to reach the heights but we're nearly there we're nearly there with the stats he's a 91 rated left winger 90 speed 90 acceleration 90 dribbling 82 balance 80 kicking power and again a very 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 solid player so if you look here at the legend card yes he has 91 speed and 91 acceleration 91 dribbling which is quite better his balance is quite better but it's it's minimal like there isn't enough there i would reckon like you could probably take away obviously this here and take away this here to have it maxed out there and you know put it up to the to the dribbling um if you wanted to do that maybe one shoot to turn him into more of a kind of a central uh based player but yeah, I mean, to me, like he is probably the pick of the Barcelona agent. But even saying that, like he's not a way out of this world, like brilliant. Like his dribbling is probably the highest, one of the highest in the games and his speed and his mixture there. But again, it's up to you guys whether you think he's worth it. For me personally, I think that Ansu Fati here, this standard version for 96,000 GP is an absolute bargain when you look at the stats here if you're looking for a pacey dribbler on the wing you know he's definitely one to watch so moving on i would say to the second best player on this pack is probably de young for all rounder because i usually play de young as a center back and i think he's absolutely incredible so de young is a 90 centimeter uh, 90 rated center midfielder now there is a couple of different versions of uh de Jong that's here obviously you've got this one here that's only got five level levels which was the magic moments and you've got his regular card which we'll get into in a second so we can just hover over these a nice feature here that we can hover over and you can see in real time the stats as they are degraded or as they are upgraded uh based on or downgraded or upgraded depending on the card and depending on the stats right so if we are to boost this guy up again we have possession we can just give him one uh that should do and if we wanted to turn him into a defensive minded center back or you want to turn him into whatever way you want to do it i mean his passing is quite high at the moment you don't really need to go much more than that his dribbling is quite high so again it is pace i mean that is probably what you want to to upgrade maybe 80 and 80 for his pace if you wanted to do that you could even take away this and take away this and probably put it onto defending I would reckon as well four points into defending to bring up his defensive capabilities if you're playing him as a CB, which he is absolutely incredible. I mean, he's as close to Beckenbauer as you're going to get, uh, I would say, if you don't have Beckenbauer. But again, if we go into his regular card here and we look at his regular card, he's got 28 levels to go. So again, you have that option of being able to turn De Jong if you buy his standard card. You can have his that option to turn him more into a defensive-minded CB if you want to do that and that's where i think the cards really it is a difficult decision to make that it's not just the cards that are like you know just because they have a high rate and you have to look at the individual stats so hopefully these videos sh shine a bit of light on that if you do want to stay free to play and you want to buy the cards with gp and earn the gp you definitely can compete with these cards now speaking of pedri we're going to look at one of my favorite players in the game, Pedri, absolute baller. Probably, I would say, top five players in the game. Let me know in the comments below if you have him and if you disagree or agree with that. Pedri is an excellent example of this uh, when we talk about building a player in the way that you exactly want to build him because you are kind of tied a little bit with these cards they're so high rated they've only got a couple of levels to go up. That's the one downgrade and I think it does balance it out a bit but if we bring him up here and give him one in possession just to bring him up to that 90 right we can actually bring pedri up quite high we can put him 85 there and we can have him 80 speed and then it's all just going to be about the passing and the dribbling and his movement and you know obviously being a complete kind of center midfielder that is just you know picking the holes uh true defenses and everything like that right but again you are kind of tied there at a 93 overall cmf that yeah he does have 90 balance he has 92 stamina he's 91 ball control his speed is, is 85 acceleration but if we go over to his actual regular card here right and we actually boost this up 
he goes to a whopping 41 levels with 80 progression points compared to level 7 out of 7 and 12 progression points. That's a huge upgrade. This is one of the best standard cards in the game. And as I said to you lads, once you have his possession up, we're going to give him two stats there. We've got 78 progression points to be able to round this off with Pedri. So again, we can bring up everything that we want to bring up. And the speed here, again, that's something that we can put up straight away. We can put this up to 85 without too much hassle. We can put this up to 80 without too much hassle. And straight away, you've got a, a player that's on equal speed and equal footing as you do with this premium version of Pedri here. So this is the GP version, 96,000 GP lads, an absolute bargain. And then, of course, we can just start to round out his stats so seven into here seven into here um we can do shooting if we want to you know make him as an attacking midfielder for those finesse shots but personally i wouldn't bother we can put that to nine put that to nine have that as nine and then we can just decide to concentrate whether we want to have him as a more central defensively minded player and you know boost up that defensive engagement if we want to go defensive to 75 um or else we can just really double down and just like turn him into kind of like you know that zippy player that can zip around doing everything that you would need your center midfielder to do so that's probably how i would recommend pedri i mean he still has that defensive engagement of 72 tackling is quite low but if you are playing him as an advanced center midfielder bringing the ball forwards bringing all the passes together i mean pound for pound and stat for stat you're kind of really outperforming here um you're really outperforming the base version or the legend version here or the special version right we've got two more points we can take this away here right we can actually take six points back very easily here and boost up his dribbling which is a bit lower so we can boost up the dribbling to bring it on par with that and then obviously we could do the tree defending as well which he's still a 91 overall player but look at those stats let's 75 defensive engagement 91 balance 92 stamina 91 ball control 90 tight possession 86 acceleration so when we go back into here they're pretty identical stat wise except i would say that um this pedri is a little bit more you know solid you know he's got that same stamina he's got better balance he's got better tight possession he's got better dribbling he's got better ball control he's faster the only thing that kind of lets him down is obviously his passing um which again or not his passing sorry is his actual shooting stats and his offensive awareness which brings down his overall to 70 to 91 compared to this card but again like there's just so like little difference between these players and for 96,000, he, he is an absolute bargain so that is it for barcelona lads let's move on to bayern munich 